the demon in this case, the dragon that we have to slay, is internally based. It's internal self-sabotage, what I call resistance with a capital R. And what has worked, the question then becomes, well, how do you overcome it? Once you identify the voices that you hear in your head that uh, are really not you, they're really this negative force that, that, that's out there that's resisting you. For, as an example, if you ever try to meditate and you try to quiet your mind, you find just these crazy things go through your head one after the other. And if you identify with them and you say, that's me, then you're in trouble. But if you recognize them as just sort of alien you know, visitations, you can just let them pass through and keep working. So, okay, how do you overcome resistance? For me, the, the policy that I use or the phrase that I use is turning pro, which is a kind of a different attitude from being an amateur to being a professional. Now, an amateur, when you, an amateur hits a sticking point, like if you're going to play basketball on your ankle hurts, you'll just retire to the bench and say, hey, it hurts. But a pro like Kobe Bryant or somebody like that learns to play hurt. And a pro learns to do all the things that we do on our regular jobs, but apply it to our, our, our love, the love of our life, our work. A pro shows up every morning no matter what. A pro stays on the job all through the day. A pro doesn't over-identify with the work so that if there's a failure, it knocks them out of, out of the batter's box. A pro doesn't take failure personally or success personally. A pro is patient. A pro endures adversity. A pro plays hurt. All of these, this kind of attitude of a professional helps you attain that sort of lunch pail, hard hat, you know, attitude that's not precious, not a prima donna, not a diva, but a hard working, hit him every day, go for it, infantry attack mode. And that for me is, is how you get something done from A to Z. I'm Stephen Pressfield, I'm Positively Positive.